Hey guys, happy holidays. I reached out on Instagram, I don't know, like a week ago, and I was like, do you want a house tour, a holiday house tour? Pretty much the same way I decorated it last year, give or take tiny little things, and people were, it was a resounding yes. So, just disclaimer here, <laughs> pretty much looks the same, but this has been my vibe the last couple of years with the decorations, definitely went in a different direction. Um, since having kids, if you've seen my many years of previous holiday house tours, but really enjoying it and just continue to try to keep simplifying a bit. That being said, we've still got a ton of stuff. I'm mainly going to show you the first floor because my kids are napping. This is when I have time to do this, so I don't want to go traipsing around upstairs, but um, I'll pop in some pictures at the end of I just did a couple little like little trees in the kids room and the Mickey tree in the master bedroom and that's about it so um yeah without further ado let's start the tour okay as per usual I'm gonna start in the front I'm gonna talk a little bit quietly right here and then I'll be less annoyingly whispery as we get upstairs but uh this is our house when you're standing at our front door this is what you look at if you haven't seen it before um, I, this is probably my favorite, one of my favorite decorations, if not my favorite, is wrapping the garland around the, um, <laughs> brain <laughs> staircase, um, the railing. I really love the way it looks. I keep the lights on all the time, probably not the most efficient. Here comes Winnie. Say hi. Hi. Um, but I just, I love it so much. Um, I'll try to remember to pop in little clips of what this looks like at night because the, thing, the things are laid up look much cuter at night. Um, but I just have a pillow and our little bench there. We have our new little plant. We, I showed this on Instagram um, stories last week too. New little plant situation there. It's not new trees, but I repotted them. And Oh, you're modeling that so nicely. <laughs> Winnie's here as our resident model. Uh, so obviously switched out the pillows and blankets for holiday ones. The the, the ones that the snowflakes on them and the ones behind them, I got at Target last year. I really love them. Um, and I believe this blanket was from Target. Winnie is not from Target, but she's got holiday bows on. Don't you, Bunny? Yeah, beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. Uh, I can't remember what the, the needlepoint um, pillow's from, but... Here's our tree. Love having the tree in the front window. One of my favorite things about holiday decorations in general, like when I'm looking at other people's decorations, is seeing the trees in the window from the outside. So I call this our leaning tree. It leans. It's a front gate tree I've had for a few years. I got frustrated with it, so I took, it took like hours, but I chopped all the lights off of it, and now I just string my own lights on. And in about an hour, the automatic timer will go off and I have a strand of twinkle lights on the inside. That was a Christopher Allen tip. Love his videos, by the way. I'll link him below. He does the most gorgeous holiday decorations. Anyway, lots going on in here. Again, these things are on auto timers, so I'll try to remember to pop in maybe like an overlay of what this looks like at night when the little trees are on. That one I have colored lights on and the rest are white lights and little candles in those houses. A lot of these things were new last year. Um, the little trees were from Target as with that really big wreath. The galvanized houses were from Pottery Barn, I think. Um, but that's what this room looks like and I think it's just, it's very cheery and festive. It's not like a ton of stuff, but We've got so many toys in there. There's enough busyness going on as it is. Um, I just closed the mudroom door a little bit so you could see the um, holiday card display. I did a video on this many, many years ago and it's something that I continue to do year after year. And then we walk into the family room, which is so cozy. I once again decided not to put up, in years past I've put up a tree we've had forever probably for about 15 years, I usually put a slim tree right there. Um, and I just want to keep the space kind of open for the kids um, to play and such. Uh, so I haven't put it up. I'm not getting rid of that tree because it's like my favorite. Who knows what the future will hold and there might be a place for that tree next year. But um, 
for now. I'm just trying to, I mean, there's always stuff everywhere. Like this is neat, you guys. Like I picked up the house <laughs> for this video. Like, let's be honest, I put some stuff away because then the kids um, are active playing. There's just toys everywhere. I mean, I pick up every day, probably about three times a day, but um, this is probably about as tidy as it gets on any given day. So there's a lot more kind of little stuff for the kids that they really love being able to touch and interact with the holiday decor. So I have lots of little stuffed animals, little snow globe, more little stuffed animals. These things are, this is new. I actually bought this a couple years ago, but I finally got around to putting it out. And we're missing one of the little ornaments because my son likes taking it taking the ornaments and like kind of spreading them around the house. But this is a Melissa and Doug advent calendar, but I just let the kids play with it. Cece likes to decorate it. And like I said, Donnie just likes to throw the ornaments everywhere. Little magnetic thing, very cute. And then this is our little nativity set from the little Fisher Price Little People. And I will link these things because I'm sure they're still available because they are probably my kids' favorite interactive, um, decor items aside from the nesting dolls that I got at the Chris Kindle market last weekend. And then we have our stockings hung by the chimney with care. The same garland I've used for, I don't know, more than a decade. And Pottery Barn stockings. Love those. Those are the medium size, if you can believe it. Like, there's a bigger stocking than that. I was just shocked to learn that. <laughs> um, but it's kind of a mix of old and new decorations, like these little uh, glittery reindeer I've had for many many years they were from Michael's forever ago and like for instance in our display coffee table I get questions about this every time I show it it was from Crate and Barrel it was a floor model piece I bought 12 years ago they were discontinuing it cannot get this coffee table anymore I love it it's so cute anyway I've been putting those wreaths in it for years and years I was thinking next year maybe incorporating something different maybe like a little snowy scene with some little battery operated lights or something I don't know thinking about it and then I did just like in the um, playroom area which we call the living room um, get new pillows and blankets for this uh, couch as well last um, year right so most of these are pottery barn because they make in my opinion like some of the cutest I mean all the pillows are from pottery barn and the blankets too I think the only blanket from Target is that one right there um, but uh, they just make the cutest seasonal pillows and throws. I just think they're adorable. Of course, we always put um, seasonally appropriate books for the kids to enjoy in this basket. We have a lot for Christmas and the holiday season. Um, so these are all basically Christmas board books. And then I have two huge bins of Christmas, like regular paper children's books upstairs that we read for nighttime stories. Uh, let's see, in the this area, only thing I put out was the Winter Runner. I leave this out all winter long. Just has snowflakes on it. Um, and then, just like last year, I got these um, placemats from Pottery Barn last year. They still carry them. I really like the corkboard placemats. And then I put the little gingerbread house we did. This was one of the first kind of crafting activities we did back in November to get ready for the holiday season, so that's Cece and Donnie's house. Very cute. That was just a pre-built gingerbread house from Target. Um, the kitchen has some stuff in it, so we'll go on the other side. I just wanted to show you guys the kids' advent calendars. These are a bit of an eyesore. They take up a lot of counter space, but they are worth their weight in gold for how much joy they bring to the children, so I deal with having them out all the time because the kitchen would look a lot less cluttered, obviously, if these weren't there but they love them. So Cece has the Paw Patrol one because she's obsessed, like most almost four-year-olds are with Paw Patrol, who watch TV at least, and Donnie has the Thomas one. Um, and I have most of the little trains in a little basket because he likes kind of just throwing them around. Um, but he's started to get really into trains and things like that, which is good because he's getting a mega train set for her, for Christmas. Uh, this is a card that Cece made at an event holiday event we went to with family a couple weeks ago. And then I have a Times Fraser fir candle burning. Don't worry, the plant is strategically placed to not burn, um, get burned by the flames. And also I never leave a candle on unattend unattended 
Um, and then this little guy from Lennox that I've had for several years now. It's a little countdown. You just take the blocks out and, you know, flip them around depending on the how many days there are till Christmas. Um, and then with the kitchen, I've been putting this wreath up for years and years. It's a front gate wreath that I had originally bought for the front of the house, but I don't know, I really just loved it so much I brought it inside. And it's on a um, timer, it's battery operated. Still works great. Just a couple little holiday towels. I used to have so many holiday towels and pot holders and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I just kind of pared that down. and Still have a lot of work to do in purging my storage room, like holiday decor, but that stuff's gonna go, cause moved on. Um, it's a little extra cluttered in this corner, <laughs> but this is like prime real estate of the kitchen. Cause we got the coffee machine, the mixer. This is where I put my advent calendar, which is the David's tea one, which I open every day on Instagram. The kids' chocolate calendar is my chocolate calendar, both from Divine Chocolate, which is really, really high quality, delicious chocolate. I've had these little bowls, from, I think they were by a brand called Tag for a dozen years. We have our gingerbread cookies that we baked in that tin. And then this was a new addition last year. And last year I had it in the middle of the table, but I realized it was like kind of hard to see around it. So I keep it over here now. Um, and it's my little hot chocolate display. I just think it's so cute. All of the mugs and things on it are from Pottery Barn. I basically saw the picture in the catalog for a few years and finally was like, I'm just gonna buy myself all those six. So I did, and I absolutely love it. I think it's adorable. And, oh, I talked about this mug on stories. I have been purging mugs, but I managed to buy myself two holiday mugs this year. Oops. But I just couldn't resist. I thought that was so cute. And the other one, I just brewed myself a cup of tea, actually. It's not holiday specific, but it's winter specific. Those were both from Target. I think that one was three dollars, and the other one was five. And last but not least, um, holiday napkins. Oh, this is the little nesting doll set that I got at the Chris Kindle Market that my son is obsessed with. Like it's his number one favorite toy right now. And then our huge stack of holiday cards. If you want to know what our holiday card looks like this year. How cute, our photographer, Jessie Hearn, took these. She is so talented. I love how they came out. There's pictures of each kid on the back, little blurb, including Winnie, kind of an update on them. I really need to get on addressing and stamping and mailing those because we're getting close to Christmas. Um, but I think that is about all the news you can use in the holiday decor tour. Okay guys, like I said, I'm gonna pop in some pictures upstairs the kids room, Cece's room, Dottie's room, just these little trees I've had for them for the past couple of years that are cute. Cece knows how to turn the lights on on hers if she wants. And then in the master bedroom I have some of the uh, books that I've got propped up for decoratives, some that the kids like, the pop-up books, they, so I have those like out front and center so they can play with those. And the little Mickey tree which always goes up and the what the bed the bed is a little bit festive but uh yeah that's it i hope you guys enjoyed coming around the house and seeing how we've gotten up to decorating this holiday season and i'm wishing you and yours a very merry rest of the year and a happy healthy new year okay you guys thanks for watching take care bye <laughs>